Hi, I'm Chris Cloak and I'm a patient with CRPS. We're here to discuss with Dr. Bruce Mitchell the mechanisms of CRPS and the management of the condition. This series of videos is to educate and inform people within the CRPS communities. I hope you enjoy. So do you think patients need to be linked with physiotherapists, occupational therapists, etc. to minimise harm and maximise benefits from a fitness regime? Yes, I do. The occupational therapy, if they've got spasm of that particular limb or, or spasticity or the actual limb is, is, is floppy, then an OT having a, a good brace um, that either will reverse the spasticity or support the limb is important. The physios are probably more important though but they need to be people that have a knowledge of CRPS and, and I think there's a CRPS group. Um, they need to understand the disease process and mm -hmm. they need to be able to take it slowly with people but to keep pushing them. If you go too hard too quick you won't go back to the physio. Yes. You'll be in bed for two weeks and you just won't go back to the same person. It just cause a flare. Yeah. Mm. And even the good people cause flares, but they usually try and figure out what it is that's caused the flare and then avoid that and, and try something else the next time around. Okay. But it is a pretty specialised area. Mm.